It's a process. I have my processes. That's good. <laughs> Crazy thing happened. We shot a video at AHR in Orlando, but turns out we had some technical difficulties. I, I'm not trying to make do. Hey guys, Eric Ani from Mechanical Hub on the Road. Thanks for joining me. I'm excited to show you all about the Mr. Pex product line, a product line that I'm familiar with because I've used it on my job sites. All right, we shot a video back in Orlando at AHR and we had some technical difficulties. So we're redoing it right now because I think it's really important for you to know what Mr. Pex has and what you need to know about. <laughs> PEX is a PEX A product. And there's a little, little history behind the name, if you're wondering, and behind the company, obviously. But it was, go, let's go, let's travel back in time to 1971 when a gentleman by the name of Thomas Lenman was working at Wurzbo. And they developed the PEX A process on how to make PEX tubing. And in 1984, Wurzbo enters the North American market. You know Wurzbo now as Upinor. Uh, they came to the U.S. with the Pex A product. Mr. Pex is the nickname they gave Thomas Lenman because he actually wrote the, the ASTM standard for Pex A tubing. Crazy, right? Well, in 2001, they actually, he went out on his own and it was just a natural fit for him to call the company Mr. Pex. So, you, Mr. Pex's roots come from the actual production process modeling, you know, manufacturing, writing the standards for PEX A tubing. I'm holding their heat tubing in my hand right now. It's a PEX A, as you know, like an expansion type of uh, PEX F198 or F1960. F1960 uh, fitting system, so expansion PEX. What's really cool about this, and I know from personal experience, is that you've got really good flexibility, more flexible than other tubing on the market, and the red color is really attractive too. Available also for potable systems in blue and red, and uh, large diameters all the way up to two inch. But let's look at a couple different normal uh, items that you know most of the heating contractors are gonna recognize right away. Stainless steel manifold. So this is their standard manifold with all different types of connections inside a cabinet, as you can see, and you've got a small zoning control here as well. So you've got expansion, compression, um, and this is inch and a quarter with one inch connections on it. And right behind me, uh, which you can't see, I'll hold it up here is an inch and a half commercial size manifold with some great big uh, industrial, you know, commercial uh, application flow meters on it. So really, really a, a expansive uh, options and, you know, full product catalog on radiant systems, tubing, manifolds, controls. We're gonna talk about the controls here in a minute. They're really, really exciting. Some new stuff that they're bringing to market, which is completely wireless. Um, I want to focus too on the potable once again. Now, you've got two options for potable uh, from Mr. Pex. You've got the press type of connection with the stainless steel bands, and then you've got the, the uh, expansion like most contractors are tooled up for already. So you can move into the Mr. Pex, which gives you a full array of fitting options without retooling if you're already on expansion or without retooling if you're already using the press connection fitting. So press guns with the, the right jaws, will do that with the press connection fittings, your expansion tools that are on the market like the Milwaukee M12, M18, things like that are gonna do the expansion for the F1987 uh, fittings. So uh, let's move on. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the, the wireless system next. All right, what I'm really excited to talk about is what Mr. Pex has coming in 2020 for wireless zoning, which blows my mind, all the products that they have to offer. I haven't personally got to work with these yet, but I'm going to, I tell you what. So let's start with like the A number one component. This is called the gateway. This is what you're probably familiar with, uh, items like this for different networking, things like that in your home for your Wi-Fi. Well, this is really like that. It connects all of these parts and pieces that they offer together on one system and relays it to your either your mobile app or access to this from your, your desktop. Um, 
This gateway will connect to things like this wireless zone uh, box. You can put up to 32 of these things together, which will give you just an amazing amount of zoning capability for things like zone valves and radiant manifolds. All different types of components can connect to this zone box. This zone box can actually also connect to a wireless relay that can go on your boiler or air handler or whatever it is you're using as a heat source. And that, so you don't even have to run wires for control to enable your equipment because you're using this wireless system. This wireless system, of course, requires power, but it's con controlling or connected to the wireless thermostats. So think of the possibilities with a wireless zoning system. If you're doing retrofit work or new construction, you can put your thermostats wherever you actually need them without having to worry about wiring them up, which is Phenomenal, phenomenal to me. Their wireless thermostats too have a couple cool different functions. So they can be wall mounted. You can put them on a base like this. You can actually connect them to a floor sensor if you're doing that type of con control parameters for radiant heating, which is awesome. Um, you've got zone relays that'll connect to for controlling pumps. Uh, single zone, four zone, six zone. You need to really check out their catalog to see the full array of all of these different types of controls. And behind me, you can see here, here's that, that zone box. Uh, the wireless thermostats connect to the zone box. This zone box can control different components like zone valves, uh, manifold actuators, thermo, thermostatic radiator valves, things like that. And it can also go to that wireless uh, relay to control your boiler on off, that kind of stuff. So that just gives you a little, dis you know, a brief description of what it can do. But like I said, go to their website because that's where everything is at. It's going to show you way more than I can talk about in this short video. I just wanted to highlight some of these different products that they're offering and their wireless control system because I'm really excited to give it a shot. I've got some jobs in mind already where this is going to play uh, play into effect. I think right. I think it's going to fit perfectly for my project. So uh, I don't want. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I'm glad we could redo this video because. I, you know, we did a good job, I think, at AHR, but the sound was so terrible, and there's a couple of technical difficulties we just had to take care of. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you on the next one. We'll come up with something out of all of this to edit and make a video. That sounds terrible. <laughs>